Because it's got of, no battery. We're about to film a real video. Is that real life? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get like closer and shit. Oof. I can someone needs to sit there. Cabby, you go there and John, you go there or something. Where am I sitting here? Just like that. Ants. Guess what? What were you doing? Fishing. Yesterday. <laughs> Any fish? Mm, one mackerel. Big shark. Big shark. Look at the colours, bro. Colours to the blue light. Yo, 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 yo. Oh. That's crispy. That... What's that noise? <laughs> no, no, that. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I did see something just a second ago, though. Check it. I never rinse this and look inside. Can you show Corrosion. Bad. bad. Yeah, well, I'll clean it up. I got big corrosion issues here, look. Just adds character. Look. Man. See that? Can you see? Look, it's all bubbling and shit, the yeah, paint. Yeah, yeah. Definitely got mosquito on my back. Uh, here, here, here. On my neck? No. No, you're clear, man. No, yeah. you're dreaming. <laughs> They're all on the boats. I think that's one on my head. Yeah, Oi, can we hurry up, man? Just. Oi! So we're making another video about what reel you should get. Should you get a Daiwa? Should you get a... No way. Probably not. <laughs> should you get a Shimano? Nah. What should you get? Expo. Nah. Should, should probably get a Akuma, man. Nah, let's get... I know what to get. A Jarvis Walker. Yeah. <laughs> Jarvis Walker. No, but aren't we going to get one of those American... Um, Van Stalls, Van man. Stalls. What about the sea bar? Oh, they right. actually look alright, the sea bar. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Big crash. Oh, you've just ah, actually go back. <laughs> paint chips, everything. Oh, man, the mozzies are tripping, nah, man. It's yeah. sweet. Man, you can't break these things. Oh. <laughs> you can break that one, though. Yeah, the dog is. You broke it. Yeah. Can we get a thumbnail real quick while the sun's still up? Just everyone put their reels up. Oh, take your things off. Oh, my big. I'm going to have big. Oh, it doesn't. Everywhere, man. Doesn't even matter. Why well, take that off? You're tripping out, Briggsy. Oh, mine's really ugly though. Look good no, it's, it's just a thumbs now. It's thumb just a thumbs. Try and get them all in there. Oh. Quick, quick, sun's about to bow. Quick, quick, quick. Get, get it in there, Cap. Middle, middle, middle. Front and center. Bigger. Yeah, but I can't. There's not yeah, much. Yeah, no, I can't. yeah, I'll go in the middle. <laughs> right, get your head in there, Johnny. Up, up. <laughs> there, that's the shot. That's the thumb now. It's all blurry. Johnny, get your head in, man. The reels yeah, are blurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, okay, get your heads out. Good get your heads it's out. Good now. Was it focused? Yeah. Let's go in a line or something. Anyways. <laughs> it has to actually focus on the reels. Yeah, you ready? Wait, get, I think you up. have to get your head out, man. Get your head out, Cap. It's focusing on your head. head out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that focused, Johnny? I can't see. Yeah, yeah, big focus. Big focus. <laughs> okay. Man, there's... Ah! Alright, what is... You go first. Oh, wait, hurry up, man. <laughs> Oh, just so we're all talking about it. Yeah. Just yeah. give your opinion on Shimano vs. Iowa. That's basically the conversation. Is it? The okay. Shimano vs. Iowa. Alright, you go. The reason that there is only two options for us, Saltiga or Stella, is we've used a lot of different reels, we've felt a lot of different reels, and these are the only reels we want to spin with all day long. Like, for us, the most important thing is having a setup that we absolutely love and we're going to be able to spin for 10 hours straight, not even care if we get a fish because the setup feels so good to spin with. That's basically, well, in my mind, that's why I buy a Salt Eager. I just love them. That's a lie. <laughs> no, it's totally true. Do you like spinning all day with that? Way more than I would of <laughs> like a f***ing Saragossa 30,000 or something, man. <laughs> it's not a lie at all. That, in my opinion, the nicest to spin with reels. And that's my main goal when buying a reel is if I like spinning with it or not. Obviously, it has to tick all the boxes of being able to actually land a big fish and hold enough line and have enough drag. All that shit's a given, but does it feel nice and do you like it? Just like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. Or worse. Just like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, it's personal preference and my personal preference has always been towards Saltiga. Look at your hat. It? It's Ferrari all over it, man. Boy. Red. What's your, I got a Ferrari jumper, What's your thoughts on the Salty or you, uh, hold it? you should hold it? Um, <sighs> well, I've used a Van Stall. What did you think about it? I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really old model. I'm not sure if there's better ones now, but this one... Was it heavy? It was heavy. Like... Not like the situation being heavy, but the weight of it was heavy. <laughs> Both the situation and the weight was heavy. I've got a Daiwa. 
I just reckon, why would you buy something called a Stella when you can buy a dog fight? <laughs> so that's just the name, that's all I bought. Yeah. <laughs> no, I reckon they're both good reels. If someone gave me either or, I'd be fully stoked on on that. You want to give me a reel? Hint, hint. <laughs> yeah, I would Hint, hint. No, but um, I just like, yeah, I like the aesthetics and I like the feel. The only thing I would say, I keep tripping out with it. The only thing I would say is the drag clicker on the Shimano. Do you want to click drag? So it's pretty quiet. Now pick up your Jimmy. Which one has a better sound? Oh, oh. I hear that? But should we talk about the actual like real shit about it? They both feel smooth to me. I like both reels. Performance. Yeah. They're both great, I reckon. So yeah, you have your little Jimmy. Jimmy. You ready? Do I have to hold it? Yeah, so yeah, you gotta got make sure you're focusing on the engine. Oh, it's hard, eh? I have Shimano. Reiki. Um, <laughs> they hate Shimano. I don't know if they actually hate it, but no, I don't know if they actually use it. I just, when I was younger, I always used Shimano. I never really, really owned a Daiwa, but I used Briggsy's dogfight one time and broke the gearing. But the gearing was already tweaked. You dropped it off. There, the there was a few variables. Because <laughs> it may have gone flying out oh, of the back of a car well. one time and land on pure rock. But with my experience with these, has been pretty good. I like. I get them serviced and stuff. I've had issues with roller bearings and little weird bearings here and there. But overall, they've been good. Um, that hasn't broken. Is that, is that the 18? That's the 18. That's what... Oh, it's fine. It's our line. Yeah. yeah. That's what um, I was using in Oman and it caught heaps of fish and it's pretty sweet. It's oh, actually f perfect. You gotta be a shaft play. Is yeah, that yeah, I got... Big finally, shaft there, play. There is some play. You there. don't mind a little shaft play, dude. <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't like a little bit of shaft play? Tweeted. If you can get it, you'd have it, wouldn't you? It's a f***ing lot of shit people carry on about the which is better, but they're f***ing pretty much the same anyway. Yeah, those two. They're quite different, yeah, but, but they're they both do. at the same level. Yeah. yeah. Wait, just... It yeah. really is Lamborghini Do you know why? Yeah. Because... Made in... What's that? Made in... Right, you got to pull it back a little. Yeah. Made in Japan. Yeah. And Japan. Drag? Well... Big drag pressure. Yours is really good. smooth. The later Saltiga's drag is really smooth too. Yeah. The earlier salt egg is very sticky. Very sticky. Bad. Sticky drag. Now, totally fine. Yeah. Sticky drag. Gearing? Big fish, sticky drag. How fast is your reel? I don't know. 5.7 or something. Is it? Doesn't really matter when they're this size, man. Big cranking out. Yeah, it's just huge. Yeah, they're all 5.7. Oh, high speed, 5.7 to 1. You also be 6.7. Well, it's yours more. Big fast man. Six is that's why you get bearing problems though, because they've gone over like. Nah, but it, my bearing problems are hand, feel that handle, man. No perpetual energy there <gasps> anymore. Yeah, it's special. That's his. Well, hey, I've got one more thing. I couldn't think of. A lot of people ask us, what's a good cheap reel? And obviously these aren't cheap. These are the most expensive spinning reels you can pretty much buy. The reason we don't use cheap reels is they break <sighs> really quickly. Wait, that's it's, sand flies. Yeah, but there's well. like full combo going that's on. That's all yeah. sand flies. Combination <laughs> it's all fried sand chicken flies. here. Tropical North Queensland. Sweet. <laughs> in jackets. In jackets. It's jackets. cold up here. It's bro. cold in Wollongong, yeah, yeah, eh? In Wollongong. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so cheap reels is not our forte because they break straight away and they don't from, feel good. in our experience they feel like shit. They're heavier, they usually don't hold as much line and Drag. Yeah, the Stratic was mint. The Stratic was mint for about two seconds and then it broke. The the only reels we would recommend in the cheaper models are the Shimano Spheros, Saragossa, and what's it called? Biohazard. Biomaster. <laughs> Biomaster. <laughs> but the reason we recommend them isn't because we have experience with them, but just because we read Alan Hawke's review and he said they're good. Alan Hawke used to review reels and he reckoned that the new... Spheros, Saragossa, and Biomassa, I'm pretty sure, are worthy saltwater reels. We've never used them, but 
you should try them if you're looking what for something cheap. Catalina? What about Yeah, I was just about to say. Yeah, like, so mid price. Cheaper range, go, mid price of mid. Daiwa is... The Catalina. We haven't found a good cheap reel with Daiwa before. A good mid price uh, reel in our experience for the Daiwa has been the Catalina. That's what Ron, Ron's got the Catalina. Ron's got a Catalina. You had a Catalina. I had one. And it was good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, the early version. Then you I had, had a mid. A mid, and then there's a, there's a new one. Yeah, okay. No one knows about the new one. No, no one knows about the new one. Didn't you say someone had a uh, um, thing on the trip? A van store. Oh, a van oh, store. Yeah, what Stall about style. It? I don't know. It was just really weird. I'd never seen one before, and it was probably weighed about two kilos. Didn't have a bail arm, and the line lay was just because the the no bail. I don't even know how it works, man. How does it work? You sure cast it? Yeah. He didn't fish with it at all. He just like brought it just for show and tell. Yeah. People ask us if they should get a dog fight or the 8,000 Saltiga expedition. And from what I understand, they're exactly the same. There's like a tiny little difference inside the reel where one of them has a longer, what's that middle pin thing called? Middle pinion gear. Pinion? The center pin. Everyone Wrong. has an opinion. Wrong. The, the Santa, do the Santa dog's a bit longer. Plastic drag knob or some shit. Yeah, that's the other thing. So the Expedition has a better drag knob. It's made of some kind of metal instead of plastic. This Rock one's it. plastic. Rocket. Rocket. So NASA it's, stuff. It's made of <laughs> NASA. But otherwise, they're exactly the same, and they'll do exactly the same job for you. And you should pretty much just see which one's cheaper in your zone. If you're thinking of getting a Saltiga, if you're thinking of getting an 8,000 size um, Saltiga dogfight or Expedition just get whichever one's cheaper because they're both pretty much the same. So one of our mates and team members, Rhoda, he actually just bought a dog fight. And the reason is because he went into the store and he actually held both the dog fight and the Stella. And he just liked the feeling actually of the, the dialer. He also found out uh, that Shimano are bringing out a new Stella next year and he didn't want to buy the old model of the Stella so he bought the Doggers and I'm actually frothing that he bought the Doggers yeah but no, Team Dyer man Team Dyer Team Dyer and um, Johnny the Outcast but that was a lot of, that was a big big Shimano's. big heart heartfelt for um, Ryder's decision he does a lot a lot with his intuition and his feelings so he was feeling good with the doggers and went straight for it. And that was our advice to him as well, is they're both going to do the job, so just get the one you actually like. I've had this service, how many times? I've had this service once. No, not even that one. This one, service once. Twice. Once. Once. Needs a big service now, but I've yeah. had it service once so far. Yeah. Um, in a year. It's yeah. Been a year. Also a thing, how many times have you had that service? Just once, but I haven't used it much as much as you. Yeah. One thing with is, that's probably worth taking into consideration is the servicing quality of each brand. I know in your country, in, though, in your in your country, yeah, country. Yeah. yeah. Because when I sent my reel away, I had it back in seven days. Um, it was like two hundred dollars or something for the service, or one hundred fifty dollars. Um, Briggsy. <laughs> <laughs> sent his reel away and they lost it for how long? It took a it took a good six to eight weeks to get it back. Six to That's eight. a lie man. No, it was. Big two months. Three what? months. No, it was two two months is eight weeks to your trip. Was it three months? <laughs> no. It was eight it was about eight weeks. Anyway, they lost his reel in the servicing department, he had to ring them and they found it and then he got it serviced for free, so it all worked out in the end. I, I think it was on warranty. Yeah. I haven't had good experience with Dara servicing department either, to be honest. It's taken a long time to get stuff back. And I did have a uh, Stella at one stage, and I had that service a few times, and they were very efficient, quick, fast, and affordable. Yeah. So that was really good. So Dara was raking service in Australia. In Australia. Yeah. In Australia. Another option, though, is to go and find a, find a guy in your local area. Like... There's servicing people. Yeah, there's a guy in Brisbane that does that services reels. Apparently, it's pretty good. So if you don't want to send your reel all the way down to the head office or whatever and wait, you can just try and find a guy and work out if he's actually any good. 
and you can get it done locally. Yay! <laughs> what else can we think of? Yay! Are we clear on the van stall thing? Was that fully locked in? Are you sure we really said that? Just say it again. Yeah, just say it one more time. Just to be sure, because that's a key point. So the Maybe reason... Worth yeah, yeah. saying, though, like, just... This is for all the people that keep <coughs> asking us every day why we don't use van stall. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is say why. That. Say that. Big, big. So... The... <laughs> every day we get asked a million questions. We've got a spectator. About two. Why we don't use... Right. Every day we get a million questions about why don't we use van stalls or sea bass, mostly van stalls. And this is why. Because I feel... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a winch in a massive machine. Slow gear yeah. ratio. So they feel bad, slow gear ratio, poor line capacity. So that all comes back to wanting just like a nice reel to spin with. If you fish a lot, you want something super nice, and yeah, I really like the feeling of either Shimano or Daiwa. Totally lost. We should all just say why we choose this or the other. Yeah. Okay. Just that as a like final thing. So the reason I go for Saltega and Daiwa is I've always just preferred them. When I pick it up, it feels like something I'm frothing to spin with. And when I feel a Stella, I like I'm not trying to make anyone angry but when i feel it it just feels a little bit flimsy it feels that little bit more finesse and i really like the solid feel of okay. the salt eagers i've always loved it that's the reason that i choose this over them it, and, and it really isn't like because yeah, i yeah. think they're a better reel it's because i like the feel of them i know they're both really good reels and either one's going to do the job but i just love the feel of this one that's why i get it um so yeah i choose dollar and I've just same as pretty much the same as Briggsy. I've always had a soft spot for uh, dial reels. Um, I like yeah, they feel solid. They feel like a a tank, I guess. Um, just a proper workhorse. Uh, I like the color combinations as well. They just look really schmick. There's a lot of work that goes into the aesthetic de design, as well as uh, the the hardware inside it. And yeah. Um, that's mostly why I use Star Saltigas. Johnny. <laughs> um, Is it because you get them cheap? Yeah. Yay! A big discount, yeah! Yay! People would probably, people trip out that they think that we get so, so much shit. I use yeah. these because they don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've just always used Shimano and I like, when I was a kid I actually fully used to dream to have a Stella one day and now I have a Stella but um, big mission accomplished that <laughs> and my own personal experience using Briggsy's reel and it um, breaking so even though they can all break but um, that was one thing that made me want to go and get a Stella my Stella broke 20 times but that was the old model everyone has that still apparently the older ones are better yeah apparently yeah, well, the older Jimmy's like the older yeah. Stella better than the new. Yeah, so yours is exactly the same reason. Past experiences and you just prefer them. I just like them. Yeah. And I don't like the dog. <laughs> Was that in? Was that in there? Maybe. I think I just got bitten by a typhoon. Get down. Just get down, typhoon, man. <laughs> so yeah, basically it doesn't matter what Briggs, are you in the shop? real you get. Oh, and well, any of these down. are great and it just comes down to a personal preference. Agree? Yeah. Agree. Agree. Big agree. <laughs> that... Did you see them all? <coughs> yeah. So if you haven't seen this guy's last film, get on and watch it. And yeah, to everyone, make sure if you if you're a new fan or follower, there's a lot of mosquitoes here and they get yeah, and sandfly and magpies that some reason are just starting to come around. They want food, they're toxic and they're mad pipe. We're all gonna have our own personal channels soon. Briggs is heckling me hard. <laughs> Briggs is going lazy, he can't handle editing all that stuff anymore. I'm building a house, so it's hard to get time to build build my social media. Uh, <laughs> what was that Dave? That was Dave! That was Dave! Oh, oh. Mosquitoes, oh, broken reels. <laughs> See you next cast! Real life man! <laughs> <laughs> really cooked. <laughs> <laughs>
I think you hurt my knee somehow, man. Brooksy! It did hurt it a little bit. You'll be fine after a day. Two months now, I'm holding it. We should have been using that little light. Ooh. Ooh. Well, it's quite bright. It's, we're going to be going like this. <laughs> Dark. <laughs>